everybody is safe and well in lockdown number three. Stay safe. Um, I get asked quite a bit, uh, what are my feeder rigs, what am I using? Can you tell me how to tie a feeder rig? So um, I'm going to use this lockdown period to do a few tips and I'm going to start with showing you my free running feeder rig, which I use at Medellin's, Tamar and Albans. So here we go. So it's really simple. So all you need is quick chain swivels, line protector stops, a waggler swivel, and obviously I haven't got my rod upstairs, so I'm just gonna do it with some eight pound sinking feeder mono. So first things first, get your waggler swivel, you do it with my sausage fingers, and slide that down the line, simple as that. So that's free running down the line. Secondly, then take your line protector stop, if I can see that. There we go, get that on there. Slide that down the line too. So now you've got the swivel and a protector stop on the line. The third step is then take the quick chain swivel and slide that on the line. So there we go, before I tie anything, I've got the swivel, line protector stop, and quick chain swivel all on the line. Now the next step is to move there out the way, right out the way, so all you're left with is your quick chain swivel on the line. And now I'm gonna create a twizzled boom with this at the bottom of my line there you go so just each finger just start to twist it twist it in each finger and all of a sudden it will start to grip i don't know if you can see that there we go so a little bit tighter there we go and again so now it's great i'm just going to so it goes a little bit tighter that's it just keep twisting them lines so you're creating that twizzle boom. Now I normally do about six inches of twizzle boom so that my feeder, when it's hanging there, will hang nowhere near my hook length. So there we go. But no, I've actually got about seven, eight inches of line from the end, if you can see that. And there's a reason for that I'm gonna show you. So once I've got my twizzle boom like that, with a quick trying to at the end, I'm then going to do a double knot. So I'm just going to simple inside, there we go, and back through again. So go through it twice. There we go. And just gently pull that tight. There we go. So there I've got a chisel boom and a quick chain swivel at the bottom of it. Pull that nice and tight. So now I've got the twizzled boom and a quick change swivel on the end. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to grab that again, the two ends of the line. I'm just going to make a very small twizzled boom on top of that knot. So if you can see there, what I'm going to do is just get that to twist again. There we go. And not a very long one, just about an inch and a half so there we go so as you can see i've done created another little twizzle boom there above my double knot so then what i'm going to do is i'm going to put that through again but i'm only going to do one knot so make sure the other knot goes through like that and then just gently tease that up to the top so you've got in hindsight a twizzle boom and then an inch and a half or an inch of twizzle boom again but with one knot at the top and it's very important it's one knot at the top now that we've done that second knot you need to get both ends and put it really tight really tight like that really tight before we cut that little tag off now don't cut the little tag too tight so what i need i'll give it just a couple of mil from the top there we go so we're left with, as we said, double knot there, single knot there. Now, I'm going to slide 
we line protector stop down to that first single knot. Now I'm just going to wet that a little bit. So I'm get that to just gently go over that first knot. Nice and gently, don't put it too hard, you'll make the knot move. That's it, put it gently and eventually, there we go. That's come through. Now that line stop has come through and hit that double knot. And that's not going to pull through there. That's too tight. Now, so what that's done now is that giving me double protection. Now the reason we've only got one knot at the top is so, with it being free running, the feet, the swivel can go across that knot. So it's giving you double strength of protection there with a double piece of line and the line protector stop as well. But this is where the fun bit comes in. On free running venues, you often have your barbless hook rule. Now, or it has to be free running, you can get away with a, a micro barb hook. But that little knot there can act, even though it's free running, can act as a little bit of a stop. As you can see, I'm pulling that tight, look, and then it runs through. So there you go. The double line to protect it on the cast, if you're casting a lot, with the weight on that, that boom kicks your hook length out from your feeder, and will hang nice and tight like that. So there you go guys, my simple free running rig for places Barston, Tamar, Medlands, simple as that. So that's it guys. I hope that's helped you out a little bit. Stay safe and hopefully I'll see you on the bank sometime. Take care.